Hey guys, good morning. It's Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Uh, we're going to do our garden update today. I have been gone for seven days. Uh, we got a lot of rain while we were gone, so let's look and see uh, what kind of impact it had on the garden. Okay, as a precaution, we put all of our herbs uh, inside here. And, uh, and I filled these pans down here up with water so they would be okay. When we got back, the pans were dried. Um, so they did, you know, dry up a little. And this parsley was really damaged before we left. It is not looking good. Um, I don't know if it's gonna make it or not. My other parsley's doing, doing fine. Um, but this parsley is not. Um, but everything else seems to have done okay. Our hanging baskets, uh, I'll move them in here. And here's where I was lucky. My containers got plenty of rain. So you can see my jalapenos are doing great. Got a couple of tomatoes here, my San Marzano's that are ready to pick, I believe. Whew, they are heavy. I may go ahead and pick those today so they don't split. Because like I said, they did get a lot of rain. My Rutgers over here are plugging along. Got plenty of tomatoes on them. Strawberries still plugging along. Like I said, I really don't plan on getting anything from those until next year. That one's got a little strawberry on it. But they look good. My rows of Sharon in the backyard is uh, covered up with blooms. It doesn't get the sun like it needs. And like I said, it's been raining a lot. Um, and I had a couple years ago, had to cut it all the way back. And I'd say it's recovered pretty well. But it's a nice big mature plant. Beautiful blooms on it. And while I was gone, my okra looks like it has shot up a foot or more. And I'm starting finally, looks like I'm starting to get some okra on some of them. Uh, but they are really getting bigger. So I'm glad to see that. Man, I love, love fried okra. And my wife really knows how to make it. So my okra is really coming along. Hopefully soon we'll be getting some okra. Cantaloupe. Man, surely there is a little cantaloupe on here somewhere. I kind of looked around last night just surveying the damage. I was heard that we had some high winds and stuff while we were gone. So I was afraid I was gonna have a lot of plants blown over, but apparently that's not the case. Uh, you can still see some bug damage and down here at the base of this cantaloupe it's really weird <clears throat> there's a lot of you know yellowing of the leaves and looks like bugs have got hold of them down here very strange but the rest of the cantaloupe looks perfectly healthy maybe the bugs haven't gotten to it yet I hope that's not what's going to happen I'm going to have to maybe get out here and get some settings on that uh, my squash uh, I had several big squash in here when I got back and uh, you can see the limbs. Some of these limbs were really damaged when they got blown over by that wind really bad and they've died. But in general, squash is doing great. Uh, really big and healthy. This one over here, I believe it's got some squash on it ready to pick. I had two or three that were so big, you know, I had to throw them out yesterday. When I got back, but they're doing very well. And my pepper plants are just pressing along. This one, I guess this is just not gonna get any peppers on it. It's strange. But these other ones, there's a nice one. And these over here, they've got a bunch of little peppers on them. So they're coming along. And look at these blackberries. Guys, it's <laughs> loaded. I mean, it is loaded with blackberries. We've already picked a bunch of them. I guess we're gonna be coming back out, picking us a bunch more blackberries. I thought they'd all be overripe when we got back, but they are in good shape and we'll still get a few more. There's still some red ones and putting this net over this was the best thing that I could do because it has protected my blackberries. My knockout roses getting a lot of new growth on them while I was gone 
Glad to see that when I got back. They really don't get enough sun right here. But they're tough, they can make it. Get some pretty blooms on them. And my plants I've added to my bed up here, this set of Vinca. Look how, look at all these little different color flowers this one has. White and pink and purple. That lantana is starting to plug along a little bit. You can see that Vinca up there. I knew it would do well. These wildflowers had some blooms on them yesterday. My uh, chrysanthemums starting to bloom. And look at this sweet potato vine. Boy, it's took off now. Apparently, it really likes rain. Because like I said, while we were gone, you can see it's overcast today. But while we were gone, this started really doing well. A little flower on my purple heart or wondering Jew, which some people call it. Got some flowers on these wildflowers. I guess that's the same as those that are back there. Be in there. And I'm waiting on this lantana right here to get going, but it will. You can see there's some few flowers coming in there. Just a close up of that. And here's my favorite plant in the yard. This one I told you about last week. This big, pretty crepe myrtle out here that's a light purple, pinkish, lavender color. Beautiful plant. My favorite. Look at all the bees and honeybees. Well, I don't know if they're honeybees. Whatever these are. They love this plant. I love this plant. Nichols Retirement Empire. You guys, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Japanese beetle. See you, dude. Or is that a June bug? You guys tell me. Maybe a June bug. It is June. Well, July. But anyway, you guys have a nice day.